When it comes to low slope roofs, Resisto has a new option for you that's much sturdier and longer lasting than shingles or other traditional roofing materials. Its single ply system is perfect for roofs with slopes of over 8%. The Resisto HR cap sheet membrane is combined with the Lastobond Pro membrane around the perimeter to give your roof reliable long-term waterproofing protection. This solution offers the superior quality covering a low slope roof needs to withstand the tough conditions to which it's exposed. The single ply system carries a 15 year guarantee against all manufacturing defects. The surface must be clean and dry. Broom it to remove any trace of dirt. Begin installation of your 20 square foot resisto board asphalt panels by placing them directly on the wood surface. Take care to align them well along the edge of the roof. Application will be staggered, so start with an entire panel for the first row, then a half panel for the next row, and so on. The panels cut easily with a knife equipped with a multi-purpose blade. Start at the base of the roof and manually fasten the panels with one inch round nails every 16 inches. These asphalt panels create uniformity on plywood or OSB panel surfaces in advance of installation of the base sheet membrane. In addition to improving the adherence of the base sheet membrane, they make it easier to remove the roof protection when its useful life expectancy expires. These asphalt panels are not mandatory in application of membranes. With the resisto board panels installed, apply exterior primer to the entire roof surface to allow perfect adherence of the membrane. Mix the primer well in its container and pour it into a metal pan. Using a conventional roller, apply a thin uniform coat. Allow it to dry completely for about 30 minutes. It should be tacky but shouldn't stain your fingers. This primer may also be applied to wood, metal, and concrete surfaces. On a flat surface, cut all the lengths of membrane you'll need in advance. Use an all-purpose knife with the new standard blade. The membranes roll themselves back up. The following steps are best performed by two persons. If the main roof also has a secondary roof, go first to the places where they intersect. Cut a strip of Lastabon Pro that is longer than the valley line. Fit it so there is equal overlap on both surfaces. It must meet the base of the roof and surpass the highest point of intersection with the main roof. The piece that surpasses that point must be able to fold onto the ridge line and the other part of the main roof. Continue installation of the Lastobond Pro membrane by beginning at the base of the main roof. If you're working on new construction, let the first length of membrane overhang the base and sides of the roof by about three inches. If it's existing construction, and if the fascia is already in place, align the membrane with the edge of the roof. If it's possible to pull the fascia back, fold the membrane beneath it. Partially unroll the membrane and peel back a few inches of the protective film. As your helper maintains alignment of the unrolled membrane, slowly peel back the protective film toward the top of the roof at an angle of about 45 degrees. Smooth with your hand from the center to the edges to remove bubbles, folds and gaps as you go along. Go back to your starting point and remove the second part of the protective film using the same technique. To guarantee perfect adherence between the membrane and the resisto board panels, run a linoleum roller over the entire surface. At the valley, the membrane must overlap the membrane already installed there by at least six inches. At the base of the roof, expect to use two lengths of Lastobon Pro membrane. Take care to respect the four inch overlap guidelines printed on the preceding strip. Pass a linoleum roller over the entire surface and use a small roller on the overlaps 
rolling vigorously to adhere the two strips to one another. Apply just one strip of membrane on the sides of the roof. Finish application with a final membrane length centered on the ridge line. Repeat these steps in order on the secondary roof surfaces. Plan for a 6 inch overlap when joining two lengths of Lastabon Pro membrane. Use the small roller to ensure perfect adherence. Beginning at the base of the slope, nail the aluminum flashing into place around the entire roof. Always starting at the base of the slope, apply a strip of red zone, taking care to overlap the border flashing and surface of the roof. Finish with firm usage of a small roller over the entire surface. Roof accessories like vents and fans, chimneys, ventilation hoods and recessed lights must be protected in the same fashion with red zone strip. To treat, for example, a plumbing vent, apply a generous coat of elastomeric sealant under the aluminum flashing and fix it in place using roofing nails. Then apply a first red zone strip at the base of the accessory, then on the sides. Complete treatment with a fourth red zone strip on top of the accessory. Finish with your small roller using firm pressure. With certain accessories such as recessed lighting, make and use gussets of membrane at the four corners. Installation of the Resisto HR cap sheet membrane begins at the base of the roof. Cut a strip of HR cap sheet membrane that is longer than the valley line. Fit it so there's equal overlap on both surfaces. It must meet the base of the roof and surpass the highest point of intersection with the main roof. The piece that surpasses that point must be able to fold onto the ridge line and the other part of the main roof. Repeat these steps on the other intersection. Continue installation of the HR cap sheet membrane beginning at the base of the main roof. Unroll the Resisto HR cap sheet membrane. Align it on all sides of the roof with a quarter of an inch overhanging the edges. To keep it from slipping, fasten it temporarily by partially inserting three nails into the overlap section. The protective film is in two sections. Start by releasing the film at the bottom of the membrane. Smooth with your hand from the center to the edges to remove bubbles, folds and gaps as you go along. Next, pull out the temporary nails. Go back to where you started and remove the second section of protective film in the same way, but toward the top of the roof. To guarantee perfect adhesion, pass the linoleum roller over the entire surface. Before applying the second strip of Resisto HR cap sheet membrane, pull the protective film off the non-granulated surface of the previous one. Use a brush or small roller to apply a coat of primer. Be careful not to get primer on the membrane's granulated surface. When joining two lengths of Resisto HR cap sheet membrane, plan for an overlap of six inches. Cut the first part of the membrane, which will overlap at an angle of 45 degrees. Apply elastomeric sealant to the overlap area. Then attach the membrane and finish with a small roller, paying extra attention to the overlap edges. For the areas around roof accessories, the cap sheet membrane should be cut to adjust perfectly to the edges. Then apply a line of elastomeric sealant all around the accessory. At the valley, the HR cap sheet membrane must overlap the membrane already installed there by at least six inches. Use chalk lines to guide you and employ the same method as with the joins. Cut the first part of the membrane to be overlapped at a 45 degree angle. Apply elastomeric sealant to the granulated surface inside your chalk lines. Then attach the membrane strip and pass the small roller over it, taking care to adhere the overlap well. The roof ridge can be treated in two ways. 
The first involves folding the last membrane on one side over onto the other side of the roof, ensuring an overlap of no less than eight inches. Do the same with the last membrane on the other side of the roof, folding it over. If the width of the last membrane doesn't allow for enough overlap, use the other method. Lay a 16-inch strip of membrane over the center of the ridge line. In this way, you achieve an 8-inch overlap on both sides. As with the joins, the granulated part of the membrane which will be overlapped must be coated with elastomeric bitumen. Use a chalk line to show where you must not apply the bitumen. Certain roof accessories like chimneys and the power pole may present waterproofing difficulties. The ideal solution is Resisto Flash Liquid Membrane. Once the Resisto HR cap sheet membrane is installed, apply a generous coat of liquid membrane with a brush. Immediately apply your pre-cut pieces of reinforcement fabric, making sure they adhere well. Then apply a second coat of liquid membrane, getting good coverage on the entire fabric surface. And apply a third coat of liquid membrane to the entire surface. Spread an ample quantity of granules over the horizontal surface and use a spatula to apply granules to the vertical surfaces.